Hi, my name is Todd Peterson. I'm on the team here at One Identity, and today we're going to talk about identity and access management specifically for SAP systems. So let's turn to the board and see what we got. So the bottom line is most organizations that have SAP really rely on it heavily. It's the most important application or set of applications in their environment, and it's critical that they get the governance of SAP correct. They also have other things, Active Directory, other applications, you know, mainframes, Unix Linux systems. They have a bunch of other stuff that they need to also govern, but typically it works in two different worlds, and that's a challenge. So let's talk specifically about identity and access management, what it is, and then why it's a challenge for SAP organizations, and hopefully some ways that we can overcome those challenges. So the bottom line is identity and access management comes down to four things. Who has access to what? That's called provisioning, typically. What can that person do with that access? That's called authorization. How does that person get to the stuff they need? So the stuff that they are authorized to get to, that's called authentication. And then can you prove that they are doing it correctly? That's called governance. So the workloads are provisioning, authorization, authentication, and governance. SAP has some idiosyncrasies with every single one of those um, IAM workloads. For provisioning, typically it's done by the SAP team. Most organizations have an IT organization that does, you know, the setting up user accounts, setting up authorizations, you know, managing authentication, making sure people are happy across all their environments except SAP. Normally there's an SAP team that does that same stuff for the SAP systems. And often that is done separately for each um, SAP module. It's not like a single provisioning action done on SAP works across, you know, the GRC or the ERP or whatever other modules that you've got. Typically it's done separately. So that means you've got a disjointed approach to provisioning. One way you're doing it for everything else and another way you're doing it for SAP and maybe a couple of ways you're doing it for SAP. So for authorization, SAP uses things called profiles, something called T codes and roles, whereas the rest of the enterprise uses things like groups. It also has roles, but they're not a one-to-one -one correlation with your SAP roles, and especially with your T codes. So you've got a complex um, authorization environment. Um, how do the people get to this stuff? For authentication, SAP has a couple of options. There's thick client op options, as well as the NetWeaver or thin client options. And some of those are non-secure, and you may end up with multiple authentication scenarios across SAP and especially SAP combined with everything else. And then for governance, how do you prove it? SAP normally does the governance activities, the attestations, the making sure people are doing things the right way, that they have the correct access, separately for each module and each type of user. So that means that governance in an enterprise is difficult and incomplete. You may be able to govern some stuff on your enterprise side fairly well, but it might be more difficult on the SAP side. Or you may have SAP governance taken care of very well, but it's not so well on, on the other side. So the bottom line is you have a disjoint, a, a break between the rest of IAM in your enterprise and your SAP environment. So let's talk about how we can fix that problem. So here at One Identity, we have a couple of SAP certified solutions that really overcome most of those challenges that we talked about earlier. So remember, the challenges we had were provisioning, authorization, authentication, and governance. Our identity manager solution unifies those activities across your entire environment. So the same automation, the same workflow, the same unification, and the same consistency that you use for your other applications, your cloud applications, Active Directory, you know, Unix and Linux systems, is the same paradigm, the same workflows, the same processes, the same technologies that you use across all of your SAP things. So you end up with a very unified single source of the truth that crosses everything. And because our solution understands SAP so well, it takes into account things like the T codes, the profiles, the idiosyncrasies of each SAP module to ensure that what you do, you're doing actually the right way and that it happens the way that you need it to. And as I mentioned earlier, it is a SAP certified solution. So SAP's looked at it, said, yes, this works great for SAP. And we have dozens, if not hundreds of customers across the world that are happily using this for their SAP provisioning and governance approach. Now, if we turn to the single sign-on and two-factor authentication 
approach. We have authentication services and we also have Cloud Access Manager that are both SAP certified to give you the authentication and overcome that disjointed multiple password approach that is so typical of SAP in an enterprise. It gives you a unified experience. It gives you an enhanced user experience, meaning that users log on once. They're no longer writing down passwords, remembering you know, multiple passwords from multiple systems. Security is heightened. It overcomes some of the um, authentication shortcomings of native SAP authentication, and it dramatically reduces IT workloads because now users don't need to reset passwords as often. IT doesn't have to get involved so often. It also allows you to implement two-factor authentication on top of your SAP environment for even stronger um, security as people are logging in. So from this IRM workload standpoint, your provisioning, which was previously disjointed, different teams doing different things, you know, fairly inconsistent, now becomes fully unified across the entire enterprise. Your authorizations, which again was one paradigm for other stuff and another one for SAP and maybe a couple for SAP is optimized for SAP. It takes into account all of those idiosyncrasies, all of the things that SAP allows you to do from an authorization standpoint. Your enterprise IM approach can make the most of those along with everything else that you've got going on. For authentication, it now becomes more secure and it gives you single sign-on across everything, increasing security but also increasing user satisfaction. And then for governance, you no longer need to do your attestations and your recertifications once for this system and then another time for SAP. And one way here and another way there, it becomes unified and entirely complete. So identity and access management for an SAP-centric organization really can happen, and it can happen in the right way. Um, the important thing is to use solutions that take into account the uh, way SAP works and optimizes the way SAP works along with everything else. Here at One Identity, we are the leaders in SAP-centric identity and access management. If you're an SAP organization and if you're struggling with provisioning, with governance, with authentication, with authorization, we encourage you to look at the solutions that we have. Come visit us online at oneidentity.com slash solutions slash SAP. Thanks. <music>